Hello, Arc Matter here, and welcome to the show. So, let me get down here and get adjusted. I'm going to talk a little bit about one of these My Arcade a Pocket Players, which is Galagula, and it has two other games in, in it, uh, Glaxin and um, yeah, Xevious, right? It's like Xevious. <laughs> yeah, pretty sure. Uh, I don't know. Just having maybe one of those days. Uh, extremely hot in the area, and I tell you what, it isn't really helping with my thinking. The air's on, and it's still, it's just unbearable at times. It's like, go outside, come back in, and wow. So, I'm still working on this stuff, by the way. I've just been, uh, well, let me just rewind here a little bit. Rip, go back a little bit. Hopefully, everybody had a great 4th of July, and there wasn't no incidences of any kind, and y'all made it home safely. So let's get out of the way. Shout out out of the way real quick too. Three Geeks Network. Make sure you check them guys out with Mike McGee uh, sometimes. Um, AMJ, local YouTuber, great guy. He just did some little music video thing, like an 80s thing. It's pretty cool. You ought to go check him out. Nerdbot Media for all the Nerdbot stuff. The Nerdbot Girls. Make sure you check them out. Cosplay Powers. Give your cosplay powers. Go check him out. He's on social media. If you have cosplay, he will give you powers. Or Actually, it's just you in a photo, but he takes it. And he makes it look like he has powers, which is pretty cool. Uh, and he's into that real big uh, animation stuff too. So go check him out and uh, hit him up and ask him, hey, get my cosplay powers. XDA for all the tablet stuff I'm currently not doing, but maybe I am a little bit. I was messing around with the emulation on a Fire tablet off and on when the grandson was here. Uh, but anyhow, anywho, so this is where we're at. My arcade pocket player now i <laughs> i made the that was pirate penny in the other room uh, i made the mistake of not picking up batteries <laughs> but i found uh four triple a's two of them are good and two of them are bad maybe it'll work good enough to at least test it out to see um how it's going to work um i've always wanted one of these is it worth the 20 something i think it was almost 27 bucks for this um is it is it going to be worth it i mean it, is it worth it to pay that much uh for a little uh handheld or arcade like this when a uh, system when you can uh, just go buy a few things in or and or emulate it yourself and just play it um or get it spend the money and get a big giant arcade uh a one up and play uh, the games on that system. Um, I just felt maybe this was, I just, I just really like this game and I have it in many forms. Uh, right over there, you can see I have it in the small, it's kind of hidden because of the lights shining, but right there is a small, uh, arcade cabinet of it. And beside of course is Pac-Man, but, uh, those are most probably the games I remember spending the most of my quarters on. That and Star Castle. That's come on, no one's made Star Castle. Huh? Come on, somebody make Star Castle. That game was amazing. <laughs> Actually, it's only because I was the, it was the game I was with the best at, because everybody always beat me on the, the, all the other games, and I was just, you know. Well, anyhow, uh, Dad, give me more quarters, would you? Give me more quarters <laughs> so I can play some more games. So, um,. That's why most probably this game sticks to me the most. The two games that are on here, uh, I played them more than I think I played Pac-Man or any other game besides Star Castle. I played Star Castle like crazy, but I didn't really see anybody. Did anybody really develop uh, anything into Star Castle? Wait a minute. Um, that one arcade, um, well, Mil Milton Bradley took them over. And what the heck was the name of that system? I can't remember right now, but it was... Um, Right, that raster screen or whatever it is that did it and I think they did Star Castle yeah yeah I think somebody out there on YouTube most probably has a thing on it too so anyhow I picked this up I was just going to do a quick run through they have some things on Instagram and Facebook and stuff uh, it, it is kind of neat got a little I like the little bug right there which is of course one of the one of the Galaxiana people and eh, Galaxian Galaxian so it shows you inside the three games that you get and explains a little bit about them. And of course, there's a little handheld system. Three fun games. Uh, I haven't opened it yet. Nice little magnet thing there. <laughs> I haven't opened it up yet. Uh, been just been busy. Uh, 
trying to spend some time with doing some house things uh, around the house. Oh, plus I drove around all over, went to some flea markets and stuff. And hopefully I can get this open. Okay. Taking me a minute here. Okay. Let me put you guys down for a second and I will get this open. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay. All right. So after a good waiting a few seconds here. All right. So here it is. It is out. Sort of. And you get your pocket player guide. Oh, nice little wrist strap. So you can strap it along. Is it USB charged? Well, there is a little connector in there. There is a little connector. I'll have to read the manual, but it looks like you'll be able to... It tells you the two other games that are installed. and tells you how to operate them. And let's see the... Little things here to open up for the... Okay, for the batteries. And we'll put our batteries in and cross our fingers. We have a little juice to at least check it out. I definitely got to get me something to help me with when I do videos. Because <laughs> I know me moving around all over, it cannot stay focused, which makes it for an awful video. Yes, I set up myself. Let me get these back on. All right. Maybe. There's one back on and the other back on. No, I'm getting close. Okay, so let's see. Pull this little off of here so we can see the screen. Of course, I'll have my own little sticker, collect some sticker now. Okay, so let's see if we have some juice. Hey! All right, pocket player. I guess I get that to zoom in a little better. Okay, so then you can select or reset, which I just did. There we go. Maybe that'll help me with holding my hand better. Okay, so I can select which one I want. Okay, there's Glagula. Okay. This is the information on the back said A button, fire, B button. Okay, that just tells me that. Okay, so this... Let me pick. Oh, just reset. I just reset it. Ah, I think I got it. This is what happens when I just unbox and just go for it. All right, there we go. So then we can pick these different, the different ones, and then select. Aha. Uh -huh. Actually, I do like it. Uh, okay, and then you hit, I guess you start that one. There we go. There we go. All right. Do, 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 do. So let's see. Reset it and go to the last one. Do, do, do. That's it. I keep hitting that reset button. Man, the only thing is it's very faint inside the plastic. The way it's in Ross down, it's just really hard to see. So let's we'll see pick that one. Yeah. It's Xevious. I did play this one, you know, off and on, but not as much as the other two. Woo! Pew, 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 pew. All right, so let's go back and reset it and do a little quick gameplay if I can. If I can, let's see if I can set my phone over here. And select. All right, so there it is. Aha! 
Oh, we all know that sound, don't we? Here we go. Oh, yeah. Normally, I don't usually shoot the big guys first. They're the main ships, so you can save them to get extra points. Later, I come down and try to catch you and get dual ship. Then I'll try to get that ship. Well, you've all played the game to get the point. So, there it is. So, what do you guys think? Uh, so, we have the box here. Which shows it. There we go. There's a little bit there. We have the machine. I do like this. This is pretty nice if you want to wrist strap it. I noticed there is a USB port. A micro USB uh, port. Micro USB. Mini micro USB. What do you want to call it? And it looks like there's an AC adapter down here, too. I'll get the manual book out. And, of course, it is a little thick. Kind of goes over some of the stuff a little bit in this book. But I'll read up on it. And is there a slot of some kind? No, there's no, like, SD slot or anything. So there won't be no adding. But I'm just like I've seen somebody um, do a, the, um, a dip switch thing on the little mini arcade things and, and add four more games. That's pretty cool. So I, I'm going to go because um, my videos are usually over not going this long so please like please subscribe uh, thanks for hanging out with me and this was pretty neat so another one to add to my little collection of this game so have a great rest of the week